So today I wanna to talk about getting rid of any internal conflicts. Hey guys, my name is Salem Sunni and welcome to my YouTube channel. Here I help individuals just like you be more motivated, discover their purpose, and understand that they're God's very best. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. So we're talking about how you can be successful this school year in the next 90 days. You may be asking why 90 days Salem? People have said that it takes about 21 days to build a habit, especially if you do it over and over and over for 21 days straight. But often enough, some of the skills that we're gonna be sharing here, you're not going to apply each single one of them every day. So that's why we'll give you a longer period of time so you can be able to apply at least several times a week by forming a habit. That's the reason why I'm talking about the 90 day. This can be applicable to anybody who's on undergraduate degree, your master's or you're doing a doctorate degree, whatever the case. So if you have any question or anything you would like to ask, don't hesitate, contact me on the email as you see on the screen right now. So we divided all these into two categories. What we talked about is the mental and the physical. The mental means are things that you have to have to do in terms of your mind, your consciousness, how you have to get yourself ready. And the mind is a large percent of your success. Why? Because before you start acting onto something, you're probably going to have to start changing your belief level up on that. So we're going to be talking a lot more about the mind, but then we're going to give you that tangible action stuff that you have to do. And when it comes to the, the physical aspect of things, where are some of the, the, the tools, the the habits forming that you physically have to do to put you in a place to win the school year. That's my hope for you, right? So today I wanna to talk about getting rid of any internal conflicts. How you feel about yourself inside is going to determine a lot how you study. How you feel whether you're depressing, whether you have a lot of limiting belief, you think maybe you've heard all the time, you know, your mother say you're not smart, your brothers have said you come from a, a neighborhood where no one has made it as far as you made it. So the limiting belief is no one has got their masters in your family. You're the first one to go. You're the first generation student in college. You might be that you come from a family where there might be some limiting in terms of your social class your race, whatever the case may be, right? I want you to get rid of all those beliefs. See, I want you to understand the difference between those who are successful and those who are not successful is that the people who are successful stop buying into the belief that a lot of people are trying to impose on them. Right? Sometimes some, those are some of the beliefs that we're trying to impose on ourselves based on our environment around us, based on some of the experiences that we had. We impose some of these somewhat detrimental beliefs upon ourselves. And I don't want you to do that, right? I want you to get rid of any internal conflicts. That's so very, very important. So any internal conflict could include the fact that, for example, you have so much doubt. You have a sense of like depression all the time. You have this need of always seeking external approval, right? Like you always want to be around people. You always want people to be laughing at your jokes. You always want to be the center of conversation. You want to be, always be the life of the party. I'm gonna be honest with you. There's gonna come a time where you're gonna have to sacrifice any any sense of diminishing belief that you might have into yourself. So how can you practically do that? I want you to write down the list of the things you are good at. Yeah, I mean exactly that. Write down a list of things that you appreciate about yourself. One of the things that you've your accomplishment, the things you've done so far. I want you to physically be able to see how far you've come. Some of you guys don't realize how much of a, of a miracle you are, how much of an extraordinary individual you are, right? Sometimes we'll, because we hear so much of negativity out there because sometimes we believe what our parents have said, what our friends have said, we forget how far we've come. The fact that you're in school, the fact that you're able to make it, that's already a testament, right? So I want you to write down, okay, what are some of the things that you've accomplished so far, the things you are grateful that you've been able to experience? Write all those things down. The next thing I want you to do, I want you to start being grateful for all those different things. That's how you get rid of all the internal conflict, gratefulness, right? Say, so, man, I'm grateful to the fact that I was able to make it to this university. I'm grateful to the fact that I applied to this several university, I was able to come in with a scholarship. I'm grateful to the fact that my spouse, my wife, my husband is supporting me on this step, on this journey. I'm grateful to the fact that I have uh, parents who are supporting me, I have friends, I have my aunts who are paying for my school. I'm grateful to the fact that I'm alive. I'm grateful to the fact that I'm still breathing today, right? So that's one tip for you to, you'll see that you're feeling better. I don't know about you, but even me just doing this exercise with you right now, I'm feeling better, right? I'm grateful to the fact that I get a chance to talk to you. I'm grateful to the fact that I have 
YouTube, the internet, to be able to share this message, to be able to hear from you. I'm grateful to the fact that, you know, I'm, I'm in good health. I'm alive today. I want you to start being grateful. Write down those different things and be grateful for each one of them. That this is going to be a journey. You might not, it's not going to change maybe overnight that you're going to completely change how you feel, but it's going to be one step at a time. And hopefully it's going to help you go to the next level. And as you continue to start being grateful, you might be doing this exercise several times, maybe a day, several times a week to change your disposition, to change how you feel, to change your state. And I can guarantee you it's going to have a tremendous impact on your studies. Trust me. So that's all for me today. Remember, you're God's very best. If you like this video, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. When you subscribe, also click this notification button, right? The, the little bell that you see there. When you click this, you'll also get notified of the upcoming videos. You don't want to miss one of these videos. But until then, remember, you're God's very best. And I'll see you guys next time.